can you tell us what your experience of going through court has been? It nearly broke me. I have to be honest, it nearly broke me. It's been four years, so the, the length of time that it's taken, it's four years of, you know, putting something away, taking it out and looking in detail at, at things that you've tried very hard to forget for a long time. Yeah. And then trying to get on with your life for another six months while everything's on hold and then taking it back out and maybe going to the graveyard where, where, where the rape happened and finding out specific areas and, and then putting it away again for six months and coming back to, to face him in a courtroom. And, you know, the whole process is so drawn out and so long. You're a life on hold. For that time, I wasn't always well. I, you know, it made me very sick. I, there was a couple of suicide attempts. And I needed an awful lot of support to get me through it. And I wasn't the mother I would have liked to have been and that my kids would have deserved to have had. I wasn't as stable as I would have been able to be. So it did come at a large cost. Now, for me, it's worth it. Uh, it's absolutely worth it to have done it. Um, but it didn't need to be that hard. Like I wrote an open letter, actually, to the judiciary last week. Cause I suppose I internalised my own situation. Then yeah. when I heard about the issue of, of, of girls being, being questioned about with the, the tongue, it, it enraged me. If they know better... And they know something is irrelevant and they know something is wrong, like a child can't give consent, like yeah. it doesn't matter what, you, what underwear you wear. Why can they then bring it up? And why is the system allowing them to? And why is the judge allowing it to? You know, yeah. um, because it's wrong. It's, it's one step away from saying she was asking for it. Yeah. And we don't need it. It's hard enough. It's, it's so hard as it is. 